fun, so he's checking the mail. Guys, there's not as much mail this week, but this mail is dense. It feels like bricks. Please don't mail us any bricks unless they're gold bricks, but you gotta cover the shipping. This little card is from Jamila. I'm particularly impressed that anyone would be able to write a spiral like that. How is that rascal, Hardigan Woolstead? We're not really on speaking terms right now, me and Hardigan. Can't you see I'm busy? Can't you see I'm busy? This is from Michelle. Whoa! Wow, this has a super cool drawing of us playing music. She even drew me with my favorite vest on. This is from Val, and Val included a dollar. That's great. I'd like to think of dollars as really like, um, kind of like a $1 gift certificate. I'd like to welcome Sarah to the weekly mailbag blog, which can mean only one thing. Tim time, it's time for Tim. I'm so excited, is there a drawing? There is. Yeah, another fantastic animal, a moose. Whoa, and Tim Ooh. is including here a self address envelope, mm -hmm. which actually brings me up to a point. Mm. We had a fan uh, last mailbag Tim vlog. Tim Time Out. <laughs> Tim Time Out. That was time for Tim. We had a fan, our last mailbag vlog, he sent us these glasses, he asked us to sign it. I lost the self address envelope, but we still want to send it to you. If you send us your address. We'll stamp the envelope and we'll also reimburse you for the stamp. We'll put another stamp we'll in We'll put there. another stamp in the envelope. Yeah. Tim Time In. Tim Time In. Tim Time, it's time for Tim. We have a coffee holder. I bet the letter might uh, explain. I haven't written in a while. I've been on paternity leave from letter writing. Congratulations, Tim, Congrats. that's great. Getting back into work after several days of being off, we're studying Dante's Inferno. Wow, I cool. Who ever has to read that? Everybody talks about it, but nobody I reads it. I had to read it. it. What? In high school. Mm -hmm. You speak Italian? <laughs> Did I tell you about our coffee sleeve art? My students and I made suits of armor out of coffee sleeves, and then it escalated from there. The griffin head, the giant wings, the full horse. Hello. Oh. Um, Tim Ortina. I'm, Tim Ortina. I'm really appreciative that Tim is kind of realizing maybe he is a Tina. That was time for Tim Ortina. This is from Paul S. Moore. Some gifts of appreciation. The coin is from my very first trip to the USSR. The keychain is from my visit to Sri Lanka after the 2004 tsunami. This barbed wire is a genuine piece from the Berlin Wall. This is so cool to have a piece of the Berlin Wall. This is a letter from Marjorie. She's requested that we read a part of her poem, but I never surrendered, I made it. I'm a survivor, I'm a survivor, and so are you. Now this letter is actually for- It's me again! We meet again, mis amigos. Well, wow, that's really remarkable timing, Markle. That this letter's Timing is my forte. That means loud. Dear Markle, for a recent English project, we had to choose a book. Mine being the great Gappy. Gappy was a legendary for throwing the large parties. This is a whole book report. I think they were trying to mail their book report to their teacher, and they mailed it to Markle. Oh no, you're gonna get an F. This is very insightful, and I can't wait until the sequel to Great Gatsby, Great Gatsby 2, Chipwrecked. It comes out next year and stars Mark Wahlberg. Bye. Do you want to open this package with me? I think it might be a brick. Yeah. I think this is the Shroud of Turin. Worth a fortune. This got me more worked up than a fish in a bird feeder. This is a crazy board game, like an indie board game called Knockdown Barns. Don't play if you're a child under three, or you're gonna choke. Just like in a real barn. This is from John Pull. This is a serious homework assignment. Angel in Christiansburg, Virginia. An angel actually took these photos of us over here for a fashion article. And Angel included this very cool button from his blog. It's now time to welcome our international correspondent, Evan. International Mail! Good to be back from the province of Prachwap Kirikan, Thailand. An amazing photo of this place. Katerina wished us happy Chinese New Year with a postcard from Thailand. Is that like a subversive political message? We could be putting her in danger we right now. We could be putting her in danger if she, she's sending this subtle message against the Chinese authorities. Happy Chinese New Year. I'm in Thailand. So when I say her name, Katerina, just pick slate my mouth and like beep it out when I say, thanks for the postcard. My name is Franziska. I'm 17 years old and I live in Germany. It's my kind of art. I like to call it pixel cubing. 
Here you see a pixel cube picture of Michael singing hello again. This is from Gitica. Could be Gitica. Gitica. Really, those are probably the main two options. It's really only two choices. My name is Gitica and I live in Toronto. I'm gonna be getting an apartment with two other girls. Living on my own in my own place is something that I've never experienced. I don't know what to expect. What if they have parties every weekend? Should I have a lock on my door? Who are they inviting to the parties that you need to lock your door? Who cooks? Groceries? The story mm. you can see, of course, is of Gitica's right. family. Uh, there's Gitica, her mom, her dad, and James Blake, her future husband. Not tennis, former tennis pro James Blake, for sure. You're really asking us, like, what what is it like to live with other humans? Going out of your way to buy a padlock for your own bedroom is maybe a signal that this apartment is not up to par in terms of, like, various amenities that you should expect in the first world. If you put a padlock on your door, you're just signaling to your roommates that you're a drug dealer, even if you're not. Right, but there's something in there that they want. This is from Irina in the Ukraine. She's from Zaporzhia, Ukraine. I always love to sing, but I sing too quiet. So in choir, nobody hears me. If you sing in a choir and nobody hears you, did you sing at all? You helped me to believe in myself, and now I am Sonar's soprano in choir. Very glad that our videos could help you to sing audibly. As I slowly travel around the world, I will mail you a postcard. That's, Wait a minute. That's the same from Thailand. Thanks. So we should put these like up in one special zone where we can track. So keep those postcards coming. You're about like two postcards away from your own theme song. Dear Gregor Brothers, I'm Lisa and I'm from Berlin, Germany. I work as a writer. I collect the conversations and quotations for a long time. I take it and I write it down and then rearrange it. I can listen to your songs all day and all night long, so I'm a real fan. I'm sending you some music and my newest play. It's saved on the USB stick as well. This one is from France. I love your cats, and I discovered your videos two years ago. They were so cool that I thought, damn, the awesomeness of these people is too damn high. So what a surprise some weeks ago. Why, why, Manti? Don't you have tons of fan letters? Because you're lovable, and I could vote for you as president. Boogity, 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 amen. <laughs> P.S. Nope. Check test. And you forgot one. On the envelope. Postman, take my mail. No, leave me alone. <laughs> International mail. Thanks so much for the mail, guys. We can't get to it all every week, but we really do appreciate it all. Keep sending us your plays, your jokes, your drawings, your homemade board games, and we will take your mail, and we will put it all right here. Andrew's going to check the mail. Andrew's going to check the mail. Andrew's going to check the mail.